this is a stalker called Pripyat. This is a mystery mob. A lot of people don't know about it. I'm in the middle of a nuclear fallout oh, blowout storm. That happens once in a while. It's bloody scary. Make sure you're inside. One of the most awesome aspects of the game. A completely random living, breathing world in the future. In, in an apocalyptic way zone of Chernobyl. What can I tell you about it? It's hardcore. You get one little, little lock box here. A little bed to call yourself your home. Living on a little old uh, rusty ship full of other stalkers. These guys here. Total dog eat dog world. Things get a bit creepy. Don't open the doors. I'll be over soon. Prices are high. Items and ammo are scarce. Totally open world. Living, breathing, persistent. Random events. Scary as shit. If you want a hardcore survival game, this is it. Forget your rust. Forget your rock. This is it. Buggy. Brokey. Crashes often. But it will terrify you. Different factions all want to kill you. Got to worry about your food. Got to worry about your mental health. Got to worry about your physical ability. Mental health? Smoke a joint. Radiation? Smoke some fags. It's all very simple. Staple water out of here is vodka, to be honest. It uh, sorts out all issues with radiation. I actually managed to eat some food, so you know my guy now can walk a little bit quicker. He's looking after himself a little bit more. Oh, I'm going to go to a known bandit hideout. You know, you can clear these guys out, and within about uh, you know, gunshots and distance, there, there you go. Persistent world, like I said, factions fight each other. But I'm going to go to this known area where guys hang out, you know, and uh, let's see if they've respawned and we'll have a shootout. Totally unlike any other game you've played, this uh, one shot to the head you're screwed. You know, you've got to be really careful about who you shoot at. Um, and the misery mod has got this really awesome thing where um, if you pop up in the same uh, area then the enemy gets a bonus to hitting you so you've got to pretty much shoot, move, shoot, move, shoot, move like in real life. Awesomeness. Oh, and you thought it was easy as uh, a couple of guys. <laughs> we've got the military trying to kill everyone in the zone. We've got hazardous radiation like you just saw. He's even got mutants, some of which are invisible. Scary shit, guys. Literally, you're a scavenger, you know. Look out for a gunfight. See guys shooting each other. Go and loot the dead bodies. It's a scavenging game. You're the lowest of the low. I'm not even a soldier. You're a scumbag. Get used to it. Alright, so this is one of the areas, you know, which is a bit of a, um, how should I put it, uh, important area of the map. You know, there's going to be guys in here. They're going to want to kill me. Clear radio chatter. Ooh, I'm talking. Let's creep in there and shoot them. Creepy as shit. Uh, now you can have two options with this game, you can have it in English language or Russian language, but I'll, you know, I kept it with the Russian because it's, it's a lot more creepy. <laughs> Holy shit. Is that a guy there or what? Holy shit. Oh, oh. Okay, not been busted yet. Where's that quick save key? Doing a little stealth and all that. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. 
Oh, it's freaking radiation. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit! He saw me. That is not good. In this game, you really need the element of surprise. Not you surprised. <laughs> kind of like that, you know? Wait for his mates to come out, shoot me in the face. Holy shit! Where did that come from? Let's use this. Costs less when you shoot. There he is. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, 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 where did that come from? Holy shit. Oh, what a good night, Dad. It sounds loads of footsteps now. A little bit scary. There he is. Oh, dude, come here, I'll shoot you in the face. Holy shit! Oh, I'm fucked up. I forgot to bandage. Dynamite! Holy shit. Love it. That is how lethal the game is, guys. After that heinous death, you know, I'll have another pop at it. But literally, all you do is you just kill a few guys, go back, farm them, you know, sell the guns. It's a proper RPG strike survival game. You know, you can eat, get it anything more brutal than this game. Fucking awesome. Like I said, it's totally random. I mean, I've, I've just reloaded it and, you know, the same guys that just killed me aren't even in this building now. It's bizarre. But um, onward with the quest to go and kill the guys in the mercenary lookout. When you start off, you start off in that building right up there on the hill. And you have to get to a shipwreck similar to that one. Where all the other stalkers live. They're your buddies. Also walking around this area we've got the mercenary faction, we've got the bandit faction. You can join these factions and become friendly with them but I generally just try to kill anything that isn't a stalker. And if you look down there that's um, a mutant local to this area. They'll run away on their own but they'll gang up on you if there's uh, more than one. Just got to be aware of that. This game is probably one of the most immersive and terrifying games I've played on the PC. Uh, I really don't know why more people don't know about it but it's pretty terrifying. There's also a language pack on it, you can have it in English or you can have it in Ukrainian stroke Russian. Um, I've gone for the Russian authentic language and it's very scary when they scream at you in Russian. Okay, see that weird sort of hazy stuff going on up there, that's what we call an anomaly. Um, right at the centre they'll have special artefacts to pick up which are worth a lot of money or they give you a boost to your stats. Uh, but the Really dangerous, really, really dangerous to go in there. You have like a little bolt you can throw, yeah, throw it in front of you. If it goes pop or bang or fizzle, then you know there's an anomaly there. As you can see, that little indicator on the right hand side of my screen's gone yellow. That's a, basically a mini picture of your intestines. That means I need to eat soon, otherwise, it's going to have a debuff on my running ability and things like that. You do need a decent PC to run this. Um, I've got 8 gig of RAM at the moment, and it struggles to load between. Uh, Areas, even though it's a seamless zone, um, when you sort of go near a point of interest, the game will lag a little bit. Um, I've got a fairly decent graphics card as well, but it, it does struggle with this game. As you can see, this like pauses every so often. It's also very, very buggy. You've got to put up with crashes to desktop uh, quite regularly, but if you can get past all that. So, what am I doing now? There's a town of bandits here. Basically, they have occupied a water treatment centre. Uh, I've got to get in there and get some information to 
pass one of the local quests and get some money for it. You can hear a bit of a shootout going on here. So that's mercs against bandits, probably. But like I said, these guys are badass. They're totally tooled up to the max, and I've had a this is my second attempt trying to take them down. So we'll see how this goes. As I probably explained last night, the um, idea on this game is if you take a few shots from one piece of cover, the longer you remain in that piece of cover, the better their aim gets, and you will get grenades coming in on your location as well. So it's best to shoot and move. Let's go and take a peek and see uh, see what the sentries are doing. There we go. That's one right there. There's another one up there. So like I said, this is not cards. You can't run and gun on this game. You've got to be quite clever about your shooting. You've got very, very limited ammunition as well. That costs a lot. Right, now move. Yeah, here we go. Without recording, I'm getting an 80 FPS on this. So it uh, runs fairly well. Oh, shit me! There we go. Exactly, boy. <laughs> you should watch what you're doing on this game. <laughs> Grenade in the face. I'm getting out of here. And here's the clearance patrol coming to find out where I am. See, there's more pouring out of the facility now. I was going to move up and steal the guns, but and go back and sell them. But uh, yeah, we've got more, more troops. And be careful about being flanked in this game as well. They like to do that. So I was saying before about vantage points and things like that, I managed to get behind this rock, I was quite concealed and uh, yeah, we've got dead merc bodies everywhere. I'm gonna move forwards, scavenge the good guns and uh, run off. So I successfully looted all the stuff from the body, I took one of the best guns here, you can denote it by the uh, green sort of repair law there underneath and got loads of ammo, energy drinks, you know, food. So your priorities really are food and ammo on this game. And medkits. I'm going to go in this water facility now and try and retrieve the information. <laughs> it's taken me weeks to be able to get inside this facility. You know, I, I haven't played the game much because it's quite quite hard going, but uh, this is the first time I managed to get in here without being chased by 20 odd guys hell bent on killing me.